Every car has a story. Like the best thing ever. <laughs> For some, they end up here. Hi, I'm Gary Nichols. My team and I rescue cars from this. Here at Radical Rods Rides and Restoration, we restore vehicles, giving them a renewed lease on life and preserving their stories so they could be told right here on Radical Restoration. Most classic car owners showing off their car at events is exciting stuff, but competing and winning is what it's really all about. Follow along on this episode, we're going to be following the final preparations on a 1936 Ford hot rod pickup truck that's making its way to an invitation only show at Cobble Beach. Okay, so this is a 1936 Ford truck cab. Um, the roof has been chopped. The chop was done up in here. The roof's been lowered about three and a half inches and it's been moved forward ever so slightly. The, uh, the truck is just in primer at this point. There's been a custom floor made for it <clears throat> and we've just finished uh, putting in all the supports for the steering column. We've uh, rebraced uh, in behind the dashboard and uh, made the lower pieces that has a custom pump with a different shifter location. This truck will have um, a custom, uh, what they call the double Z chassis, which is a, it's the main chassis with the front and the rear overlaid to give it a really low stance. It'll be uh, gloss black with uh, copper accents and copper accents with inside the uh, passenger compartment as well. There's a lot of body work to be done. You can see all the creases in here, you know, up in here. This thing actually had bullet holes in it. <laughs> So we've got, I mean, if you look at the back of the cab, there's still a lot of work to be done here and here. You can see it all on the top of the roof line. You can see the cut lines where everything's been spliced and moved. So there's still a lot of work, but there, you know, anything in the 30s is becoming rarer and rarer. This uh, truck will be up at uh, Cobble Beach, uh, which is up in Owen Sound. It's an invite-only show, and they've invited four modified hot rods up. This is one of the four. So we're very happy to uh, see one of our projects up there. Um, we're fixing up a few things before it goes. There was uh, some stone chips up on the roof and in the front here, so we've taken it right back down to the metal. We're gonna fix that up before it goes. This is a first time for us uh, being at Cobble Beach, so uh, it's very interesting. It's a whole different market for us. There's, this is normally you know, high-end Duesenberg type cars where they've invited hot rods in, which is really neat because that exposes us to that market and, and those people that like those classics will get to see some of this type of work as well. How are you feeling? Feeling really good about it, actually. The car, this car has done extremely well this year. It's probably picked up close to 20 awards already, uh, pretty much at every show it goes to. So to go up there and hopefully come out of there with the trophy would be great. Be a nice topper for the year. I'm Mike Livia. Uh, this is my 36 Ford. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little project that we started uh, two and a half years ago and I'm just thrilled with the way it came out. Uh, we're headed up to Cobble Beach this weekend and I'm pretty excited about that. I've never been to one of these concourses. I really don't know what to expect but uh, I'm hoping it's pretty exciting up there.
In 2010, I headed down to Good Guys with uh, a bunch of my buddies, and I had never been to a car show. Two weeks after I got back from uh, from Columbus, I bought a 30, 32 Ford two-door sedan, but I really wanted a hot rod. I had collected a motor, so I found this, this cab on eBay. It was in uh, South Dakota, uh, and it was a mess. I had it shipped to Buffalo. I went and picked it up in Buffalo, and, uh, and, the, and the journey uh, began. We got a custom chassis made from Lucky 7. Before I brought it here, it looked like a rat rod. Uh, you know, it had all the markings, the, the flathead, and, and the custom chassis. But, but radical rods, they, they put it over the top. Everyone has chrome. Um, I wanted something different. Originally, we were looking at black chrome. Uh, you see it a lot on, uh, on motorcycles. And uh, I knew it was something different. Uh, so we were originally looking at that, but it didn't stand out enough. And, and Joe, actually, from Lucky 7, he had a piece of copper lying around. And he goes, Mike, what about this? Uh, so we went outside and there was a couple black pickups, you know, modern pickups. We held it up against the black truck and that, that was it. That was it. You know, the color combination just jumped out at us and it stuck. That's, uh, that's how we got the copper. I had a lot of help along the way. The guys at Lucky 7 made an amazing chassis for me. BD and Woods did, uh, you know, a phenomenal job on the flathead. Uh, she sounds amazing. Uh, and then Dave Remnants did my chop on the top and recreated the firewall. Uh, you know, his metal work is unbelievable. Uh, and then, of course, the guys at, uh, at Radical Rod, they finished off that paint job and body work. All the, the door gaps are, are phenomenal. They, you know, I think they spent a week just on door gaps. We also also had Eagle Canvas. They did uh, an amazing job on my interior. They made uh, my custom door bags on the side. Uh, it's just uh, excellent craftsmanship. A little bit of solvent pop here, but yeah. but um, that should be okay. There's some imperfections, a little bit of dirt in the clear coat, uh, some dust. Uh, of course, you can't get them as level as you'd like. There's a little orange peel as well. Uh, we're just taking that out, taking a few layers and taking it down to where it's flat. As you know, today's Wednesday, there's not much time. So it'll probably be a late night here tonight. I'm a little nervous to head up to Cobble Beach. Uh, I've never been to, uh, you know, a show of this uh, magnitude where, you know, they look at everything. Uh, I'm, ho I'm hoping uh, the truck shows well. That's why we have it back here at Radical Rods and uh, to go uh, you know, a little once over, make sure uh, we put our best foot forward. Stayed late again last night and did it again. You're the man. So, you're the man. So we, uh, <laughs> just uh, doing you, you want yeah. these this stuff done. Yeah, because right? they're gonna look underneath. Mm -hmm. when, we, when I brought it in. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No worries. It's, had, good. it's about it, to happen. There had some here already, eh? Yeah. You know what? I think this happened uh, when we put it on the rack for the four and, we, uh, and wheel it, alignment. And even this. Yeah. Got, uh, yeah. I know. You know what? It's it's pretty good. We did it. We 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 did it already. Okay. You have a bit of a leak here, Mike. I don't know if it's around the yeah. seam here. I think it's the seam. I just yeah. Again, this is our. This is my first one, so I don't know what they're looking for. And exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be as clean as as possible. Do it with what you can, even yeah. though it's a road car. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Never thought I'd be polishing the uh, bottom of the oil pan. There you go. <laughs> It's going good. We're down to the wire. 
Yeah. <laughs> I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Gotta get to the show. Gotta go. Gotta go. <laughs> a little anxious now? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. It would have been nice to, you know, have a couple days to clean it, clean it all up. But uh, here we are, uh, leaving for the show in a couple hours, and uh, she looks beautiful. Chris did an amazing job. Another late night. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, for you, not me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. It pays yeah. off, right? Yeah, absolutely. It looks good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just you know, what I mean, under the gun, trying to get the truck uh, nice and clean and and uh, and shiny for the show. So I'm just a little anxious to uh, to actually get on the road and get up there. Any fears about uh, getting up there? Or getting... Uh, no. Weather's supposed to be nice now. Before they were calling for rain. Now it's supposed to be nice. So. Uh, we should be good. Yeah. I guess how are your nerves? Uh, <laughs> I'm on my last one. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've used them all up. So I'll, I'll calm down once you load it in the truck and I'm on my way. Finalize things. <laughs> exactly. We're doing that now. Yeah. White Chair Area Joe Car Association of Northern Trinkle Drive. Done. Current car. Who votes the war? The World Sports Car Ferrari. Congratulations, Jeffrey. I'm Rob McLeese, chairman and founder of the Cobble Beach Concours d'Elegance. It's about, it's a concour, this concour is for elegant and rarely seen automobiles, often viewed as art. Uh, we try and have fun here. We have a lot of really interesting things to show people. Part of what we're doing is showcasing the area, but I happen to love cars, so it's a real passion and we have a lot of fun. The hot rod category, I have to admit, is not my strong suit. However, uh, one hot rod that was here this year that is all copper piping, copper tubing, is a spectacular car. Uh, followed me on the participant tour this weekend, and at every stoplight I kept thinking that my muffler is gone, and I realized he was right behind me, gurgling along. So, uh, this, this hot rod class is a carbureted class, uh, a little bit different than the West Coast hot rods but we're trying to make it more and more interesting each year. So I think this year we were pretty lucky with some of the hot rods we had. So uh, me and my wife were, uh, were in the clubhouse for lunch uh, and then we were making our way back to the car when we ran into uh, Kenny from Lug Nuts magazine and he just yelled out congratulations. I'm like, for what? <laughs> so uh, he, so he's, he stopped in his tracks, he didn't tell me anymore. He just walked with me to the car and I, and I saw a big first place ribbon on the car. Um, so that was uh, that was pretty exciting. First first place in my class, the traditional hot rods. No, it feels great. It uh, absolutely feels amazing. All the hard work and uh, worrying about whether or not the car was going to get done and cleaning it. Uh, I was up at 5 a.m. this morning and uh, they had some big bright lights on the on the fairway there on the green. Uh, so I was cleaning away, cleaning away, and uh, she looked great. It uh, it really paid off. The guys at, uh, at Radical Rods, uh, they did uh, an amazing job. They really pulled uh, through for me at the, at the last second. Um, great group of guys. Um, they took this, you know, my vision. I had a lot of outside help as well, but they took my vision and, and they turned it from, from a rat rod into uh, a nice, cool looking street ride. Well, next year with the same guys. <laughs> this is an invitation only show. So it's fabulous to be here, you know, that in itself, and then winning, it's even better. Well, we're going to be in the Vintage Insurance uh, Championship Series, uh, so I'm going to need everyone to vote in January. Uh, so I, I want to come in first in that as well, uh, grand champion for the Vintage Insurance Championship Series. And then we're off to uh, AutoFest in Detroit. Thank you for joining us. My name's Gary Nichols. Until next time, may all your rides be radical.